Welcome to Rivers Railroads Online Rail Repair. I have to warm up my brain to say that properly. And I have made a mess of our turn. If you watched the end of the last episode, we are here at a turn that's just a little bit too sharp and not done overly well. You can see it's got some issues when I came off of the bridge here. So what I did was actually I started over the other side. And there's a bit of a crest of the hill and I came back off of there and said, boy, this is definitely going uphill, which we would expect. So I came from over here and deleted, I'm sorry, now I'm going to delete, and put another one from the crest of the hill over here, just to get an idea of how far it would change. So this is level. I just want to come back and delete some of this as we go. It was more just for us to get a perspective on how much we're changing. So it's kind of amazing. We are certainly changing quite a bit <laughs> in that area. All right, so we can get rid of that, but it gives us a good picture of, of what's happening by doing that, right? So this is the crest of the hill over here. We're that much further down from here to there, to, right? And then the other thing I was just looking at was this is kind of awful wonky right through here. So I'm thinking let's go ahead and just demolish all. Right, I want to get rid of this because there's no reason that it should curve that way. And we have another crest of the hill here. All right, I'm thinking we come back to this one. So over up, up this way I think looks pretty good. And this is the other problem I have is that there's kind of more level sections in here than others. This the whole thing is not the same height. So let's see, is that, yeah, that's a reasonably good place to start, I think. We're just going to redo this part first. Get rid of that big thing. All right, so I really want to redo it up to this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, this is about the top of the hill right here, somewhere in this ballpark. Yeah, so how about right there? We'll do a constant grade. Now, a lot straighter than we were before, I think. It's going to be downhill, but I'll determine that next time. Not next time, but... Let's go. So three point seven five. If we go to four, yeah, it's just a little bit higher. Let's go there, and even if it doesn't perfectly match up, we can do. Can I see where the edge is? Yeah, right there. Little tiny transition piece. So the question is, is that too much of a... If we can come back in, let's, let's do... These aren't exactly the right direction anyway. All right, let's look down here. So what I'm thinking of is... There we go. We'll start going uphill a little bit more. I'm actually going to move over to here because that's sort of where my rail is anyway. Let's see what level looks like. Level's not going to cut it. 2%'s not going to cut it. <laughs> So that's 3% to go from there to there. I don't mean to get into redoing this entire track. That was also part just because this turn was, was off. Part of the problem with what I'm doing right, 
So let's. Uh, is I'm creating different height levels, and that's part of what messes me up. You definitely want to try to have a similar grade, or know that there's a change in the grain. Let's see what. Man, see, that's definitely downhill here. Yeah, like 3%. There we go. Did that mostly to put their, our turn right in the middle of the thing. So, yeah, do we want to... Let's get rid of a little bit more. Uh, you know, let's do the rail only option. Yeah, so that'll be... Got the click. Yeah, I think I want to stop right there. All right. So that's redone, certainly straighter, if nothing else. <laughs> it's pretty reasonable, I think. So now, yeah, this whole mess just feels wonky. So the first thing I think we want to do is just demolish everything. Yeah, and then this is just way too sharp. So how do we make that less sharp? I think we go back. I plan on replacing this up to here. So let's just see if we can't do a constant grade. If we just give it another. Oh, here you go. Let me delete. Yeah, that's not even. Oops, got the wrong tool. <laughs> Never mind. All right, yeah, so we got some right there. That's perfect. Let me just get rid of that so it just so it doesn't get buried. I don't think we're going to be in a separate place by the time we get. I think I want to try to bring it closer over to those trees. Where is this? All right, bring that in tighter there. I'm not going to be able to really run through that bridge. Let's see if I can't. Yeah, so the problem here is that if we start sloping down, we run into the ground. See that? Like what looks good up to about this point. Let's let's stop that because I want to. Right, that would look pretty reasonable up to that point. We've lowered it down, so it's. I don't know if that's good or bad, but let's go we'll start over again because we're going to have to have a different different slope, potentially. All right, and we do it up to here would be where the other. So 
two and a half. Let me delete some of that at least. Let me delete this so I can get what's underneath of it deleted. Delete that because it's. And I think we just need to get rid of the bridge because that's sort of. We are going to put a bridge in, but I'd rather do it with this gravel to get started. That was on all. All right, well, that will definitely be. I think we'll have to get rid of a little bit more of that track and straighten it over this way, but that would take out some of that turn. I think this will be pretty reasonable looking. Let's see how it matches up with our, what we just redid over here. trees in the meantime. So my thought is, let's go ahead and do this. And then we're going to delete some of it. All right, I'll make relatively small segments. I didn't mean to do. I like variable grade. I seem to pick it all the time. Yeah, I want to come from the top one too. So let's do this again. All right. So we'll have like a little bit of a sec segment of this that feeds into. A bridge. All right. We'll just redo that segment. Should be. So if we come over here, what do you think? Like start the bridge like right in this area. Get rid of that. Yeah, that's fine. Do a similar thing over here. Yeah, from like right there. All right, so that was minus two. So let's just see. I think I kind of curved it so the bridge would sort of go the right way. We'll find out here. Now, I 
was wondering this the other day. I turned off the alt mode. Yeah, and I can move the bridges the same way. The only problem is I can't see what I'm doing. So I have a feeling I just made a bridge that's... Most of it should be straight. I guess the thing to do maybe would be... Well, the thing to do is keep one of those dirt mounds going for you. Right, but that seemed like it was pretty straight. I just want to do segments so that if I want to bust a piece of it off... Right. Let's see, can we get you to line up? All right, then we'll redo this. Oh, that's a three. <laughs> that's all right. I think I don't want to go with a three. I think I want to go go with two and a half because that's more in line with the other. And then we're going to redo that a little bit because it's kind of already a mess. All right, we can go back to say there. To be honest, I think I could live with that little bump, right? And then my thought was, do we do like a little mini bridge right here? Almost like it's a little gully, right? That's the other thing I think is fairly unrealistic about, about what we're doing. When we put just that gravel, like you'd have to consider water flow, and obviously you don't in the game, but four. two trees so what is that how does that look from good lord <laughs> trees are pretty abusive to me sometimes yeah i don't know i mean it's it's fine i guess all right do we have gravel under us Really see any gravel? Let's.
Yeah, we're definitely talking a three to a four slope here. So, you know, the fact that that goes up a little bit extra to meet the bridge, I guess I'm okay with that. We could probably keep, we could just keep going indefinitely, I think, and f working on the height of this thing. All right, so. I'm going to get hit alt and get out of that mode of Yeah, let's see. I want to see what that dent looks like. Yeah, it's can't hardly see it. Right, this where this it smoothed in that gravel thing pretty well. All right, so let's just go look at this bridge before I lay all that because I really didn't run back. Really, actually worked out pretty well so far. What's this other end look like this end other end was the problem to begin with, so. Yeah, like I said, I think we need to delete more track up towards that train over there. Well, you know what? Let's do it since we're... Maybe we'll work our way backwards. And let's just do rails. We deleted all the gravel anyhow. All right, so this is the high point, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's pretty much on the ground right there, which is fine. Doesn't look very good, but as far as this grass goes. I still managed to make a pretty sharp corner here, didn't I? Oh, get out of that mode. I stop a lot of times on these bridges because you don't always get a click, though this time it's been pretty darn good. Very like you don't always, when you're, well, I guess I got out of that mode. It's that mode that seems to stop me from clicking well. And this is a little bit awkward, but not, not bad. 
this is what I would worry about is that transition there looks, you know, part of the reason I think we're having the problem is because that transition was just kind of horrible, right? This kind of swings a little bit wider than I would like and then into here, but but I don't think that should cause us any problems and that in particular. It just feels like it swings. Yeah, I guess we can get rid of it. It's not that long a length. This is pretty much a straight section and we'll just Yeah, to that. Just try to make that a little bit nicer. Problems I can't really see now. I think I could make out where that track is, but Yeah, again, we're still a bit sharp right here. We can't go through that at 100 miles an hour, but, you know, it's certainly a lot better than it was. Is that good enough? Yeah, well, we weren't derailing there anyway. It was just more of a, more of a fear and a slowdown point. And it wasn't even that much of a slowdown point for me, but it was, what to think about? Well, we'll give it a shot. That swings back a little bit, not so straight right here. We'll see what our next, I think our next goal, there's some spots here that I don't particularly like, but they're not necessarily causing a huge problem. So I'm going to hop in here and put in some firewood, and I'll pause the video until this thing gets warmed up. Do I have another piece of wood in my hand? No, nah, that's good enough. All right, let me pause it, and we'll we'll come right back when the temperature is a bit higher. Water temperature fully up to 110. So let's get a move on here. Oh, you know what? Didn't I put the brakes on? That would have been smart. Instead of cutting down trees, which I cut down a few trees ahead of us, I would have, in the last end episode, we put the brake on the last two cars here for fear of losing them to the... Oh, look at that. We really did delete a lot of gravel. Hmm. Come on. So hopefully that ensures that everybody stayed connected. Yeah, see how they ran down as soon as I did that? Now i got to go back and fix that gravel, but let's pull the train off of it because it's possible to fix gravel, but with the train on it, it's not easy at all. I think we're almost off of it. Let's go back and look. I think that's it. Oh yeah, plenty. Plenty of extra. It's so hard to tell the distance. Alright, so I'm going to come over. This whole thing is off anyway. Come over to like here where we can get to it. I'll do it. Well, let's do a variable grade. All right, I'm gonna come over to like 
here. Didn't mean to do that if I was going to do a variable grade. I thought about it and then I clicked. <laughs> All right, come to there and then. There we go. I don't know if that actually fixed all of it, but yeah, I was kind of afraid of doing that. I have some really long rail sections in here, apparently. <laughs> I just need to stop. Yeah, let's see if I can't get underneath of there. Yeah, let's see if sometimes you can't even click if it's on the trains on it, right? So that's the problem. I can't click here. Then that's another issue. Yeah, you definitely don't want to. Okay, let me click there. So at least we could put some. But yeah, now it's I can tell it's all lopsided, right? Yeah, it looks like it's on one side of the thing. I'm going to delete these because it always annoys me when I do that, but let's just call it. Uh, yeah, that doesn't look very good there either. Well, we'll consider fixing it. Like, that's that's what I was off from the center. Let's get back in here and head up to our next real mission. Sure, we have plenty of fire. You certainly will stop worrying about it when you have that huge tender behind you. Though you probably still shouldn't be wasteful. It's still all that clicking to get this thing refilled. It's not like you have an automatic firewood refiller. Spots like up ahead where this could be straightened out. I don't know if it's worth doing that. Yeah, I think I will right here. Let's pull past it. And we'll just go from like here and then we'll just straighten it out like closer to this left side. So there's not this turn and then. There's quite a few turns in here that are just not needed. You can see this thing's jangling around. It's... this turn see what it looks like I think it should be okay this is I don't really remember having any problems here could it could it be an issue if we started going faster sure go down the hill yeah, this could probably be a bridge here huh 
I'm not going to worry about that today. All right, so this is a nice straightaway pulled up further than I had to. So I'd like to see what if this went straight er. Doesn't have to go straight. Let's get our demolish tool. Set to all. All right, so this turn, like we're starting to turn right there. Oops. Right, yeah, we want to go back further. Really, because when we're coming out of this one, yeah, and then look how that, yeah, this is another. Look how steep that is. Now that I'm, now that we're here, <laughs> we got a whole nother. I just want to take out this. And make that like a much more gradual slope. I, I don't think it's really hurting anything. Yeah, so I'll go back to here. And the reason is we'll do a constant grade back up to the top here. Go into that. No, so that that would skim right over. It would be. All right. And the other thing I would want to do is just make this a little bit more gradual in here. We'll go from right by where the tracks are and go with like a one and a half or something just to yeah we can do all right that sort of blends that in so this isn't abrupt at all right here see I don't want to make that too curved but really much curved at all good I'm glad we found that spot that spot was not really causing me problems but it certainly was annoying me now let's go yeah, see, I think I want to delete. All right, that's good. All right, and we're going to head more that way, sh more sh straight. Yeah, I even just made that, messed that out a lot. Anyway, so let's come. Constant grade from this height.
Yeah, it's getting to be more and more. Let's let's just cut that off there, and then I'll see about meeting up a shorter piece. And yeah, very very doesn't matter. It's just gonna be one section. All right, we'll get that one section to meet up a little more nicely. All right, I'm going to go back to where that's a little bit more in the center and try to keep it right more or less in the center of the of the tracks. A little bit more than it was, or center of this gravel a little bit better than it was. Here, let me... This should be pretty straight. I see a little curve to it, but nothing nothing like we had before. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm not really staying in the center, am I? I'm staying pretty straight. I think I can see the other end of these tracks, and I think I'm heading straight for it, or at least. Reasonably close to straight for it. All right. Get the cool tool, tree cutting tool. Yeah, well, there's no denying that that's a lot straighter than it was. Certainly, I think that was in some ways more cosmetic, but. This one leans that way. pretty good let's get rid of you you're kind of close we only have like 800 bucks left so it's not we don't have a ton it should be we don't this is not really a tree cutting thing we're going to need to do here shouldn't have too many more trees other than these cosmetic ones and i don't mind spending the money once i'm up here right some sections I've already cut down a lot of trees, but that is kind of annoying running like that. All right. Well, we're going to just try it. See if we can't get a little bit further forward. I'm sure that the LOD is good, but look how sharp that turn is right there. That needs to be fixed. Let's get pulled past there. We'll just, I don't think we have to do too much with that, but that's definitely too sharp a turn to be going too fast. No real reason. This could all be a lot smoother. Yeah, let's get past this bridge. Yeah, let me let me drive the train past the bridge. I'll be right back in a few minutes because we're kind of eating up a lot of time. And then we'll talk about redoing this bridge or at least the entrances to it. And we'll go from there. All right, 
honestly don't think that I left it like this. It's entirely possible, but I don't know if you guys can see that track. And I'm wondering if that's the difference in the splines that I can see here. And, you know, I don't even know. Can it change the position of the track once it's laid down? Like, I, I don't... You would think that every time it starts the map, it has to lay down the tracks again. So if they're over here changing the splines, there, I don't think there's any reason that it couldn't mess that up, right? It's not like these things exist in real life and it's just waiting for you to come back. <laughs> in other words, like, what? I know you got one. No, you're not going to give me the... There's ghost ones all over the place, but I can't get one when I need it. All right. Come on. I am on the right tool, right? Yeah, we're just not picking up a... We really need that, too. Let's start with another... All right. Oh, almost fell off. There you go. That one has one. There we go. Step back so I can see if we're straight. A little bit. All right, I mean, that's a lot better. Certainly going to be easier on the train. And this is the side I wonder if we can't just do better. See the way it sort of, the whole thing is just off. <laughs> you know, like I think we could curve our bridge, our rail sections a little bit more. We'll take a look at the height and at least go back to like say here All right is that height did i do a nice transition or is it just yeah, i think it was a hard to get the exact altitude there but yeah I, th I think we're fine with that let's just go back one more of these we'll see if we can't you know we'll have a straight section and then we'll start to turn on the bridge a little bit you know hit alt to get out of that mode Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, that's, that was nice, but right, yeah, didn't even notice. That's how focused I was. Now the problem is we'll have to have a straight section. I think that'll work out fine, though. Maybe even better, who knows. Yeah, I don't really like that 100%, but I think we can... All right, it's sort of one of those. Yeah, one more. Yeah, two more. Yeah, that's... Yeah, see, this one's off. Let's go back. I'm going to redo that. So, no, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just do it from this end and try to match it up because it's sort of not quite the right direction. I 
we just spread the ugliness out over a long enough distance, it's less of a problem. That's what it comes down to sometimes. All right, see how this track just sort of go, takes a little step to the side and then back, and it doesn't seem like a big deal, and it's not, but yeah, it's just that we could chase that little kink all the way down there. Let's just see how it goes. I don't think that's too much. Oh, we do want to come down here because we got this was just way too sharp right here, right? So maybe we should just redo because yeah, this this was the part. Yeah, let's uh how does all this look? Yeah. yeah, that that's better than what this was. So my what I'm questioning is do I redo the gravel? I think part of the problem is I stayed in the middle of the gravel through here, and it was. This is the spot right there that's bad. Yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to redo that anyway. Yeah, and I think we're going to. Let's demolish. Oops. Did it again. Right. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Do we want to demolish that? Might as well. I think it's going to hurt. Yep. So we'll go right for back there. Let's try to go all the way across with one of these. All right. We'll do. I'm going to bring it down this way further. All right, now does that swing around and back, or does that look... I guess that looks pretty reasonable, though I feel like I'm, well, we got to meet up with this one, too, so let's get rid of that, and that. Well, other than looking mildly dumb, yeah, that's sort of what I was afraid of, but I think we could run that further, see if it looks... Let's see, can I just come up here and... Let's just see what happens if we run the track back. Will it look good or not?
Yeah, right there, it kind of came back in on itself. Ah. Well, you know what, though? Actually, I was thinking of putting a bridge across here, so that's, that's why I did that. All right, let's just get a bridge across here. Yep, the other side looks good, so let's go. Right, then we'll do a little E action. Hopefully that lines up well. All right. All right, let's go back to rails. Yeah, we can, we can get across now. So let's run this rail to where it wants to be. Just run this right on top of that rather than trying to stop that turn. All right, I think that looks nicer. A little more realistic again. We got like a gully right here that would want a bridge as opposed to gravel under it. And there we go. I think this is certainly, you know, much improved. I don't think it's as sharp as it was. And I really, truly question whether that was like that before. I don't remember it being like that. And like I said, with them working on things, it's entirely possible that it that it wasn't. But there we go. So probably wasn't the most dramatic, big project thing that we could have fixed in this section of rail repair, but definitely necessary and the kind of thing that everybody's going to need to fix. Let's head down. We're actually, the train stopped in a pretty good spot. So let's head over here and I'll show you what we'll do in the next segment. I think this is where we'll leave the train for the moment. I think it's right up ahead that we have the big, this big bridge. I don't really want to redo the big bridge. But the bottom of it down here is just tough. We might end up having to redo a section of the bridge or... All right, this is... Okay, I mean, I, I haven't... My bigger issue is just slowing down because it's a fairly steep slope that we're on with this bridge. I think I may jump down there and cut some of those trees from underneath of it. All right, but once we get to, like, this section right here, I think we're too sharp. I think we want to swing that out a little bit wider, right? And then maybe straighter down here. Not a whole lot, but you know, even a little bit when you get real sharp, it's going to start making a difference. And just rethink how this whole section is right here. So that's going to be where we start in the next thing, which for me in real life should be right away. And then the other thing, if you look at the height of that, it's just, you know, very sharp. My... This was my learning phase. Learned a lot on the way up here. Got good, what I thought was good on the, going to the iron. By the time I got done to here, I was starting to do some more bridge work and stuff like that. So there we go. So we know what we're doing in the next one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I hope you have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.